there's a very long straight current I that is perpendicular to the paper and goes into the page. Find the magnetic field produced by this current over here a distance R away. For this highly symmetric current, Ampere's law is a better choice than Biot-Savart law. Ampere's law says the closed integral of B dot dL equals to mu naught times the enclosed current. When we use Ampere's law to find the magnetic field, the process is very similar to what we do when we use Gauss's law to find the electric field. Our goal is not to do any complicated integration. This dot product equals to B times dL times cosine the angle between B and the dL. Our goal is to choose an Ampereian loop so that for any part of the loop with non-zero dot product, the magnitude of the magnetic field and the angle between B and the dL are constants everywhere on the Ampereian loop. This way, we will be able to take out the constant b and the constant cosine, and the integral would only have the integral of dl. Unlike Gauss's law, which involves a surface integral for a closed surface, Ampere's law involves a line integral for a closed loop. But both laws utilize symmetry. So what shape Ampereian loop should you choose in order to meet our goal? The very long line of current has cylindrical symmetry, so we should choose a circle for Ampereian loop. We also need our Ampereian loop to go through the point we are interested in. So the loop must be a circle with radius r. By symmetry, the strength of the magnetic field must be the same everywhere on the circle, which allows us to take the b out of the integral. An Ampereian loop has a direction, although it really does not matter whether we choose a clockwise or a counterclockwise loop. We just have to proceed accordingly. But for convenience, I usually make the Ampereian loop follow the direction of magnetic field. For example, this into the page current has magnetic field lines that are clockwise. So we will make our Ampereian loop clockwise as well. This way, everywhere on the loop, the angle between B and the DL would be zero. So we have cosine zero here, which is uh, 1, and so this equals to b times 1 times the integral of dl. This dl is the Ampereian loop, and we're integrating the dl, the scalar, which gives us uh, l, the length of the Ampereian loop, the circumference of this circle, which is uh, 2 pi r. And we know this integral should equal to mu naught times uh, I enclosed. So this should equal to mu naught. How much current is inside this Ampereian loop? It is uh, I. So the enclosed current is I. Therefore, to find the magnetic field B, all we have to do is to divide by 2 pi r on both sides. So the ma magnetic field is mu naught I divided by 2 pi r. And of course, magnetic field has a direction. So if I use my thumb to follow the current, my curved forefingers go clockwise. So the magnetic field over here goes clockwise and the tangent to the circle. So it's this. So the direction of the magnetic field over there is slightly slanted like that. So we get the strength of the magnetic field to be proportional to the current, which makes sense, and B is proportional to 1 over R, which also makes sense for a very long straight current. 